Hey guys, Adam Francisco here, and we got Cloud Francisco and Ray Drop Francisco in the background on the bed. We are at the Red Roof Inn in Myrtle Beach. I got a really good deal on it. I think, in general, hotel prices across the country are super low right now. And, um, you know, I'm not encouraging anybody to travel. If, you, if you're not traveling for essential needs, stay home. But in the case of me, for example, I'm actually kind of homeless right now. Um, not not in the financially uh, struggling way, but I don't have a mailing address. I don't really have a place to stay. You know, I'm not going to stay with my dad because he's, you know, in his 70s and I don't want to put him at risk. You know, I feel healthy. I feel great. But with this virus, you never know. So I told my dad, Dad, I'm not going to stay with you. You know, you stay there. You self-isolate. I got back from Thailand about a month ago, as many of you guys know, and the reason why I left was because I knew getting home in May was gonna become very difficult. It looks like my prediction was right, so I'm very happy that I, that I got back to the US when I did. Um, I was staying at an Airbnb in New York, uh, and now I'm moving down to Florida, uh, Miami. And the reason why I'm moving to Miami is because I just love the beach, I love the warm weather. To me, warm weather, the sun, and the beach have become my non-negotiables. When I could be in the sun without a shirt all year round, I personally find it more motivating to stay healthier and be healthier. So for me, uh, Miami is a great place and it's only a two hour flight from New York, which is fantastic and it's convenient. Um, but anyway, I'm in the middle of the road trip now. So I've been staying at hotels, uh, pretty much living out of my new car, my Honda Civic Coupe, which I absolutely love. Um, but what I wanted to do today is I wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm doing to prepare for a one month quarantine, even though I don't even have a house. Now, for those of you who are fortunate to have an apartment or live in a house, this means that you have a refrigerator, uh, which is a huge benefit. I don't have a refrigerator. I really don't have any way to refrigerate anything. So I had to kind of get creative with my own personal survival kit. Basically, I needed to look for items that could stay in a car um, and last in packaging that don't require refrigeration. So I was a lot more limited. You know, if I had a house and a refrigerator, I would probably stock up on things like, you know, orange juice or, you know, frozen meals. But right now I don't have that option, um, at least for the next couple of weeks. So what I've decided to do was I wanted to put together a survival kit that I'm using for myself. And I wanted to share with you guys what I found to be the essentials. Now, I don't think it's ever going to get to the point where, you know, we're going to have to use our survival kits. However, it's always good to prepare for the worst. What does my friend Adam Baruch say? You should always hope for the best, prepare for the worst. I don't think he made that up, but he always said that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm hoping for the best, but I'm going to prepare for the worst. And for me, what the worst means is um, I'll need 30 days of sustenance for myself as well as for my, my fur babies, uh, Raindrop and Cloud. So I want to show you guys what I have and what I, what I you know invested in. So the first thing is a no-brainer. I have about a month's supply of water in my car right now, so I just have a lot of bottled water. Now, I know that bottled water is not good for society, but I think during these times, we can all make an exception, especially if you're a nomad like me. I don't have an option to, to really you know, drink faucet water right now, because I don't even know the, the water quality of these states. I know New York City water is great, but now that I'm in South Carolina, North Carolina, Atlanta, I don't know. So I'm just going to stick with bottled water. It's safe. It's clean for me. And so I have a month's supply of water, and I think that anybody should have access to at least a month of water. If you have running water and a filter at home, you're set. I don't have that luxury right now, so I'm going with bottled water. That's the first thing. The second thing is we all need to eat and I need to have food that will last me for the month. So I stocked up on a month's supply of uh, oatmeal. So the only thing I'll need for this is hot water, which could be a bit of a challenge, uh, but worst case scenario, I could still eat this raw as is if I had to just get something in my stomach and I'll still get all the nutritional value that you guys see in the back. The reason why I like oatmeal is because the way it digests in the system, it makes you feel full longer. So if things go to shit here, we need things that are gonna make us um, feel full longer, but also provide some nutrition. So this oatmeal here does have seven grams of protein, which is, which is great. It's only got about 190 calories. Now, 
Given these circumstances, I'm not too worried about calorie counts because if things do get bad, you're gonna to wanna to have some calorie dense foods just because you're gonna need that energy to, you know, to survive and, uh, and go longer without, without eating meals. So I think oatmeal is great to have um, in this type of situation. So I highly recommend you guys invest in some oatmeal. I also invested in <clears throat> protein bars. Um, which I think is really important. You know, even though uh, all the gyms are closed in America, I've still found ways to to exercise, which I'll talk about after this. Um, but I bought about a month worth of protein bars that I have in the car. Uh, so in this box here, let me see how many how many there are. There are five protein bars in this box, and each protein bar is 220 calories. So theoretically, if I had to survive off of two or three of these a day, and two or three a, the two or three of these a day too. That would actually, you know, be not a bad meal for for the day. Um, let's do quick math. 190 times 3, 380. 570? Yeah, I think so. 570. And if I had three of these in a day, and if I had three of these, 660. So I'd be at about 1,400 calories for the day, which, again, is a lot lower than where I need to be at. But if we're talking about survival mode, I think I could survive off of that. So I have a month's supply of power crunch and I have a month's supply of oatmeal. Um, I also think it's important to invest in vitamins. I've noticed that in all the different markets I've gone to, the vitamin racks are completely full. Um, if you're gonna invest in a single one vitamin, I recommend going with a multivitamin. I got Centrum for men. And this has uh, 65 tablets, which is good to last me for, for two months. So again, this will help me round out my, <clears throat> excuse me, round out my minerals and nutrition and vitamins while I'm on this, you know, theoretically very, very tight diet. Another good thing to invest in is going to be um, Tylenol or ibuprofen. Now, I, I know there's been some research that ibuprofen might not be the best for coronavirus if you contract it. But regardless, I think it's always good to have something to, to manage pain or, you know, to reduce fever um, should you start to feel sick. Uh, you know, because again, even if you don't have coronavirus, you can still come down with the fever or, you know, the standard flu. And uh, you want to avoid going to the hospital unless it's a true emergency so that we don't overburden the hospital. So I have uh, actually my dad bought this for me. He got me a 325 capsule of Tylenol. So this, I think, is also going to be really helpful. Now, because I have dogs, <clears throat> I also have a month's supply of dog food in the car. So this way, you know, if my dogs have to just eat out of the car, whatever we have, I'll have enough for a month uh, supply for them. So they'll be covered too. You know, I don't have to worry about that also, which, is, which I think is great because they are my children. Um, another good thing to invest in is going to be a portable charger. If you guys don't have a portable charger yet, what are you waiting for? Go invest in one. I actually have two portable chargers, and the reason why I have two is because I always have one fully charged, and I always have one on the charger uh, or if I'm using it. But that way I can always swap out, so I think it's really good to have two portable chargers. And each of these um, can give me about five or six full iPhone charges, so that's that's a lot of power to have as, a, as an emergency backup in case you need it. Uh, another thing that I recommend that you guys invest in is going to be, one second, free weights. I think, you know, if you live at home especially, it makes a lot of sense to invest in a pair of dumbbells, resistance bands, you know, anything like that. Because ultimately, we don't know if the gyms are going to be open for two months, a month. We have no idea. Um, so in case the gyms are going to be staying closed for a lot longer than we expect, you still want to be able to exercise and work out. Of course, you can do things like, you know, go outside, go for a run, you know. Um, however, given the quarantine and the, and, and the lockdown or the recommended lockdown, I think it'd be good to get a pair of dumbbells and learn how to um, incorporate, you know, different routines uh, into your workout. Now, if you need any help doing that, you could always go to Anabolic Aliens on YouTube and they have full dumbbell workouts for every single body part. You know, great workouts. They kill me. So I'm pretty sure that that you guys will be pretty happy with uh, those, those workouts, too. So let's put that right here. OK, I got to move that much better. So. This is my survival kit, guys, and, you know, this is just to give you guys some inspiration and motivation on, um, you know, what you guys could include in your survival kit. So let's just recap. We have a month's supply of bottled water, oatmeal, protein bars, multivitamins, aspirin, portable chargers, dog food, 
and free weights. I think right here, this is my um, essential bare minimum kit. And I uh, hope you guys found this useful. And uh, if you have any questions, you can, of course, always DM me, especially the ladies. You guys can DM me. And, um, yeah, if you guys thought this was helpful, you know, you can definitely subscribe. And if you want to be reminded of the next video, you can hit the bell. And, uh, of course, you can always check out my dogs on Instagram. We have Raindrop Francisco and we have Cloud Francisco. And, of course, we also have Adam Francisco. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't be anxious, don't be nervous, don't be worried. You know, just practice good hygiene and, and social distancing. Um, you know, if you if you guys are having a lot of anxiety and fear, um, you could definitely contact me. We could hop on, the, on a call, do some FaceTime. You know, I'm pretty good at calming people down when it comes to these kind of situations because um, I always think logically and rationally about it. And right now, I think as long as you practice social distancing and hygiene, you really shouldn't have much to worry about. Um, you know, so that's my rant for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, don't forget, be free, my sheeple. Hey guys, be free, my sheeple.